I finally found a Zigbee device to open and close my garage door. Now this is awesome because previously I was using a Wi-Fi controller through Marost and I had to use if this then or that uh, with an integration to make this all work properly. The Zigbee is just much nicer. So I'm hoping this thing stands the test of time and keeps going. If it doesn't, I'll just take the video down and uh, I won't recommend it anymore. It's cheap enough to find. I got it on AliExpress. I'll leave a link down in the uh, description below. Installation is pretty quick and easy. There isn't a whole lot to uh, setting this thing up. Now because I already had the proximity sensor hooked up in my garage, all I did ended up doing is just changing the wires over and connecting them to my new controller. If you don't already have a garage door opener and you want to set one up everything that you need is inside the box you've got the power wire and you've also got the proximity sensor and there's a couple of brackets and stuff in there as well that'll uh, let you set this thing up in your garage door however it works for you uh, the device itself is pretty tiny it's about an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter something like that now I did try initially to splice this thing into my existing proximity sensor and leave the raw switch just as a fail safe uh, don't do that because uh, I guess the proximity sensor, it fed something back through the Zigbee switch and uh, it gave me a little bit of troubleshooting that I had to do, but I figured it out finally uh, and just connected the proxy switch directly to the new Zigbee switch and that solved my problems immediately. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is go over to GitHub and grab the device driver for that. Uh, the link's in, in the description below and uh, install that onto your Habitat. To install the device driver, there's really not a whole lot to this. Click on that, go to the page, uh, do a select all once you get to the screen, copy, and then you're gonna go back over to your Hubitat, click on driver's code and new driver, and just paste that code there and click on save. This will let your Hubitat know how to communicate with that new Zigbee device. Now, if you've already installed or connected your uh, Zigbee garage door controller to your Hubitat. It's not a big deal uh, if the wrong device driver is there. Just simply go into your uh, devices, scroll down to your uh, find your new garage door opener controller and uh, change the uh, type to that Tuya Zigbee garage door opener controller and uh, save the device at the bottom of the page. Once you've got that, then your uh, device should be working successfully with the new driver that we just installed. All right, so once you've got the proximity sensor connected and you've got your little device wired up, you're gonna need to pair it with Hubitat. That's pretty easy to do. Just go to uh, devices and once you're on devices, then click on add a device and click on Zigbee and then start Zigbee pairing. It shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds and your device is gonna be populated on the top. Uh, name it whatever you want, set that up, and uh, you can assign it to a room as well here if you like. Once you've got that done, if uh, your device is not properly uh, de detected by the correct device driver, scroll down to uh, the bottom and go to the Tuya Zigbee uh, garage door opener controller, click on that, and then go ahead and save it. What this is going to do is just going to make sure that the correct commands are getting followed through to Habitat and it operates correctly. Now if the values on the right side of your screen of the current states do not populate or uh, nothing shows up or you got question marks, don't sweat it. Just click on open, close, off or on. Click on a couple of the buttons and uh, once your garage door cycles once, it should populate those fields for you and after that it should be live. The installation for this Zigbee switch was a little bit different than uh, some of the other Zigbee stuff I've installed. Most of them kind of go into an automatic pairing mode right after you connect them. This one's a little bit different. You're going to need to go to your garage door controller, that little switch, and uh, on the top right, the same place that the LED is, push and hold that button on there for, it's roughly about five seconds until that light starts to flash. That puts it into pairing mode. Once you've got that into pairing mode, uh, navigate over to Hubitat and uh, click on the devices, add a device, and then uh, start the pairing to put the uh, device onto your Hubitat. There you go, that should be, uh, it, it's pretty easy to do this and uh, set this one up. There's way less work on this than trying to get the uh, Wi-Fi switches to properly uh, communicate with the hub and have it working on all your devices. So uh, that was pretty pleasant once I had it connected without trying to tie it into the other proximity sensor. At this point in time, you can go ahead and add it to your dashboard, automate it however you want. Something I do find nice with these uh, garage work switches or these automatic switches on there, you can easily put it on automation that uh, if you have a bedtime routine, that'll automatically close the uh, garage door for you or uh, just a, 
30 minute timer if the garage door stays open for 30 minutes. It's easy to add a rule into Hubitat and automate the garage door that way. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and this was helpful for you. If uh, you like uh, seeing more Hubitat videos like this, I'm frequently adding them to the channel as I explore more home automations for myself. Are there Hubitat questions you'd like to have answered? If so, leave them in the comments down below and uh, if it's something that I want to do for my home as well, I'll uh, go ahead and make a video on it and share it with you and the rest of the community.